We've experienced this, folks, from day one. The people want subways. Council overrode the people, voted against subways. People wanted thousands of jobs up in Ward 2 at Woodbine for a casino. Council voted against the people. People of Ward 3 want to elect their own representative. Council voted against the people again. How many people, though? Is, it, is that anecdotal, or do you have hard numbers? You know something? We don't have exact numbers door to door. I'm guessing over 80% of the people in Ward 3 want to elect their own representative. But they will eventually, correct? Well, in a year, folks, let me tell you something. You've, we've experienced councillors down here, and all of a sudden, all these councillors became fiscal conservatives overnight about saving $200,000. I can assure the public that in one council meeting, that councillor can be instrumental in wasting millions and millions of dollars of taxpayers' money. People travel from all over the world to come to this country to have the democratic right to vote. And we've just taken it away from 53,000 people, the democratic right to vote. What is so hard about letting the people decide in this city? Rob and I got elected based on what the people want, not what the council wants. But there has to be a clear, clear message to this council in the next major election. As my former colleague Doug Holliday said, give us some people with common sense down here. That's I believe Doug Holliday also wanted the appointment. Doug Holliday, speaking to him, did not want the appointment. Um, I, I spoke to him a few days ago because what's going to happen, folks? Council is going to force their will against the people of Etobicoke uh, Center and appoint a left-leaning tax and spend councillor and they'll be accountable to the councillors. They won't be accountable to the people of Ward 3 because they never elected them. Can you appreciate that the timing was just just such that this kind of thing could have happened? You sound very upset. There's, there's, there's no excuse. Timing is an absolute ex excuse. The world won't come to an end in five, six weeks down here. At the end of the day, you're going to see lobbying. You're going to see backroom deals that you've never seen down here with these councillors. They're going to be lobbied to death and they're going to have their special interest groups and they're going to have their backroom deals that we ran against all because council would not listen to the people once again. It's what the council, it's this, the sense of arrogance, entitlement that these councillors have down here that they're in charge. We believe the people are in charge, not these politicians that connive and sneak and make their backroom deals. That's what we're against. We're here for the people. Should this appointed person be allowed to run in the uh, general election? I'm sorry? Did Should it? the appointed person be allowed to run in the general election? Well, it's election? democracy. They have an upper hand. That's another disadvantage to any in, uh, anyone that's going to run against them. They're going to be an incumbent, and it's going to be a, a clear disadvantage. What is so wrong with letting the people decide who represents them? The answer is nothing. Nothing is wrong, and no one has given a clear answer. What you saw today, folks, is sheer politics has nothing to do with uh, the people of Ward 2 or Ward 3 because honestly they don't give two hoots about the people of Ward 3. They all care about their own political agenda down here. That's what the City Hall is about. Their own little political agendas. Sounds what like you're you suggesting that Ward 3 is going to change the entire complexion of this council going forward. Well, you know something? That's a good point, George, because it has. How many votes have you seen down here that are instrumental in spending millions, tens of millions of dollars on one single vote. Numerous votes have come down to one single vote. This is a critical vote. Doug Holliday is a staunch fiscal conservative that got elected with 75% of the vote. That tells me his ward wants a fiscal conservative in there. Sounds like you're concerned about your mayor, uh, your, brother, your brother's control of council then. No, I'm, I'm, always I'm always concerned about uh, setting the agenda that the people elected him with the majority, the largest majority in Canadian history. You're darn right I'm concerned. You're darn right when we go up and we promise subways and the majority of the people want them, council votes against them. There's a, you're darn right about Ward 2 and Woodbine that everyone in, in the Tobago, at least, wanted that to be turned into a casino. But it was political. They voted against the mayor. So council people have a very clear decision coming up in the next election. They either like what Rob Ford has done and his agenda and keeping his promises, or they don't like him. And if they don't like him, they don't vote for him. If they like him, they'll vote for him. Last question. If, um, if council goes ahead and does appoint a fiscal conservative, will you be more satisfied with the vote today? Well, I can't answer that. My, I'd be satisfied if we let the people decide. 
Because even if the fiscal conservative gets voted in, that doesn't mean it might be the right fiscal conservative. And who are they accountable to? They're not accountable to anybody. They aren't accountable to anyone. You're 100% right. They're accountable to the counselors that gave them a $105,000 job. You ask anyone, you know, as far as I'm concerned, in, in Toronto, you know, again, the old backroom deals are going to start, and they're revving up. They're already starting. Lobbyists are running around here already before the election, the election even happened, or the or, or the appointment even happened. But this is this is terrible for Toronto. Terrible for democracy. Once again. The council rules in 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 favor against the taxpayers of this city. Well, That's and, it. And, and it was against and it was against the voters.